We, we know this is the outcome. They destroyed the Lord's family. The, the Lao's family was destroyed by the show. We know people, for instance, that basically, uh, okay, let's say a comedy roast is supposed to be like reality. Oh. You know, we can't tell you who, but we know but it's sometimes not. it can be really hard. It hurts and, some of the people. It's, just, it's like going too far. But we know a person that was on. We know a person that was doing one of these comedy roasts that didn't commit suicide. He just, um, he just, it's hard he did to, die before his time. Though. He died before his time, and I remember talking to him before that, and he said, you know, simply, you know, I, I, I really wish they stopped doing this because my, the people are all over my children. Everywhere my children mm -hmm. go, you know, how could you have this louse for a daddy or a mommy? You know, I mean, we don't want you. We don't want that. Man or woman well, in our neighborhood. You see, part of it is people don't they, they don't, don't make that separation that that is him as a it's character. A role. It's a role. It's yeah. a role. This is the same thing. Like you'll get to hate. I mean, there are people that are really jerks on these shows. That most of them. Okay, let's see. Uh, I, I think you need to be the Mrs. Loud character. You know, the real witchy type. Oh, you need to be, you know, uh, well, her son. You need to be the last type. But I'm not gay. And he said, well, who the hell cares? He was just a, you know. You're, you're an actor. You're an actor. Play Lance. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and that's the way it is. Okay, uh, hey, you know, you play the Mr. Loud type. You know, you're happy. You don't give a damn about the world. And he said, yeah, but I hate everything. And he said, you're an actor. Mm -hmm. And remember, uh, was it Jerry... How Jerry, Jerry Howe or something, one of the one of survivor people, you know, she sort of went on to be an actress because she wanted to be one to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Tiffany, look at look at Tiffany, and uh, uh, Deborah Gibson. Mm -hmm. They're both. I think they're both ex reality types too. Oh, were they really? Yeah, but they're oh, they're performers, but they also did reality type things. Oh. They nearly destroyed. Actually, no, we saw them. We seen them both doing them. The, you know, okay, team, so. it can be good or it can be bad. I mean, look at what Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. Okay, they've been very successful at it. They manage it. But it almost Gene always. Simmons works well. The Kardashians, it works well. But it almost always damages some member in the family irreparably. Because either a one member of the family uh, thinks they should have more of a spotlight. Yeah. Or and, two, in creating the entertainment, they portray someone as uh, perhaps, should we say, misrepresentative? Yeah. Wait, because part of it is they're acting and that was never their character, but people think it is because it's reality. Well, you know, it's just like uh, was it Thomas Decker should have got an Emmy Award. Everybody knows he didn't get an Emmy Award. And he didn't get an, you know why he didn't get an Emmy Award nomination? No, why? Because he played the gay character like he was a guy having, he was in love with life. Well, he was. But that's not, you play a Gary Gay character as somebody that's, you know, everybody is hates him. Everybody, we don't want this guy, he's miserable. You know, and, you know, and gays are never presented right, even by gay people. Because they think you have to be overboard. You know, you know if you're not like this, you know, then you shouldn't be on television. But, uh, no, he played a gay man that was so full of life and adventure and he was just amazed. He, life. he was amazed by everything he saw. Everything he went, he was amazed. So that didn't get him an Emmy Award. But he was playing a reality person that should have been ultimately brilliant and he didn't get it. So it just, but instead they went to the woman playing the bitch part. Well here's the question though, is because of this happening, right? Oh, well, they're going to back off. They're going to back off for a while. Yeah, just like they did after the Louds, right? After the Louds. They backed off for a, a, a full decade after the Louds. But, again, here's the thing is, uh, people don't know what, well, I can actually show you. Uh, this is how Democrats count to one. Uh, that's, that's what they, that's all they look for in a reality show rating, is that one. You know, I'm not being facetious about that because the average kid that goes to school today can't count to one. You ask one and they, uh, can I take my shoe off? Because, uh, one, you know, they can't write their name. I, I, I'm not, you know, I, I, I can go to, I went to school with football players that would take a pencil and go, I'm Elrod. Mm -hmm. That was it. Didn't care if they grabbed, didn't care if they did anything. I, no, okay, Elrod got an A today. And where's Elrod? Where's Elrod? And they said, well, Elrod's out on the football field where he belongs. But I took the test and I got an A minus. 
because Elrod got an A, and there can only be one A on the bell curve. Mm -hmm. No, but um, uh, it just, it, it, it's just got to do that. Just, um, you'll find out, hit <laughs> a good one. Uh, uh, yeah, this is not going to be facetious, folks. This is going to be reality. This is reality. Who do you think is more likely to do um, a reality show, a Republican or a Democrat? Mm -hmm. A Democrat. Democrat. Uh-huh. It has nothing to do with social values because Republicans have just as bad social values and mores as a Democrat. Why? But Democrats basically, uh, they you know they they tend to be more. Uh, okay, it's just like the little who. If okay, when you're young, who's more likely to dance and uh, go out dancing, a boy or a girl at school events? A girl. Mm -hmm. Republicans tend to be more like the boys. Mm -hmm. Democrats tend to be more like the girls, which basically they're out there in your face. Reality people are always in your face. So that's it. So it's just, uh, you know, I, I think it sucks, but I've been there. I mean, she is basically, okay, she, she uh, you know, not a spring chick was involved with the reality show. She had a, a friend of hers got married and she was at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what did they get out of the wedding for the reality show? Video. They got video. Free video. Free video. Well, this was the early days they, of reality. Well, it wasn't as back far as the loud, but this is when reality TV was making a comeback. They were making a comeback. It was basically, they were trying to come, outdo one another on all the channels. And mm -hmm. and her friend basically had, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, the, the wedding. <laughs> they should, the day they pay for the wedding, that's the way they do it. No, but before they didn't. Because they and, didn't. you know, the question is, well, what? They're going to be on TV. Well, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? What are they going to cover? Well, they're going to show the happiness and the joy or the sadness of the wedding. Well, you know, I think nowadays what they show more is they show more of the drama behind all of it. Yeah. So it's a drama. Well, they want to build up to the... Okay, mm -hmm. we put it this way. You can be 13 weeks to the wedding and actually it only started taking place on Monday. Mm-hmm. That's uh, because uh, people they don't understand that they simply, you know, my God, how in the world could they live with one another for six months? Because they didn't. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like there, look, there's real time and there's film time. <laughs> real time. <laughs> yeah, real time. You'd kill somebody. Because I mean, I, I do know an actor that basically did one of the reality shows, and yeah. he said, you know, if I have actually been there for six weeks with the SOBs at a I'd have killed all of them. And he said, "Yeah, but weren't they all doing what? Uh, what they said, weren't they doing what they're supposed to do?" That didn't mean I liked any of it. So, well, they get legitimate actor because it's a gig. Got to get some. Okay, here, what did being a reality star get you in Hollywood? Well, now it gets you on the red carpet. And it gets you on the red carpet and gifting suites. Mm -hmm. And it gets you, uh, gets you on television shows. It gets you a lot of them. Gets well, you a lot I mean, of... think about how some of them have parlayed into it. Okay, so before um, uh, the Jersey Shores, did anybody know about Snooki? No one really cared about Snooki. She's a fat little ball. Little, you know, nobody cared about it. Nobody knew who she like was. Like the situation. Now, and part of it is, is, okay, they did cast the characters on the Jersey Shore. <gasps> That's oh, yeah. not real? No. Okay. Oh, I, did, I just saw a thing of uh, one of the new reality shows yeah. with a casting notice. We need yeah. somebody to play family members. Mm -hmm. I love that, to play family members, folks. That is that a reality show where you're casting somebody to play family members? And actually, see, remember, casting is also an Emmy-nominated area. Yeah. But see, part of it is there are families that are real families that go on there because look at Gene Simmons' family, look at Ozzy Osbourne's yeah. family, look at the yeah. Kardashians. Those are all real families. Yeah. But they've all been around entertainment, so... They know how the game is played. Mm -hmm. And they know that, okay, and for the most part, everybody's involved is basically in the business anyway. It's not like, you know, like, uh, you know, we go, you know, Pat Boone's family and Pat Boone, you know, He's talking to the daughters of and Debbie. Uh, I think we're going to do a reality series. We're going to do it how I whip every one of you. But, you know, I think part of it is, is with those families, they have a better idea of what to expect, how to manage it, how to control it beforehand. Yeah. Whereas, the people, like with the Loud family, they didn't know. They didn't know. I mean, it's like. It's like all of a sudden, it's like, 
oh, look at the situation we got ourselves into. We know people that have been on reality shows yeah. that thought, oh gosh, I get my own show, this yeah. is great. And yeah. all of a sudden, wait a minute, they portrayed me like that. I'm not like that at all. Oh, I know. And it, then it affected their business. But it's like why I heard Pat Boone talking and I said, that's why I could never do a reality show. Only Debbie knew it was fake. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he said, my daughters, they said, your dad gets his belt out and tans your height. He said, they'd have laughed. <laughs> They'd have laughed. Now, if they'd have said, if mom got the belt, dad's belt out, that would have been different, but dad gets it out. Now, he said, my daughters would have laughed their heads off, which would not have been good reality, because, you know, you got it. Uh, like I said, Debbie was the actress, the others weren't. Debbie would have went along with it because she was an actress. Mm -hmm. But if they're, why should everybody has got something, they're, they're all got an entertainment bet. Look at, the, you know, go check their resumes before and afterwards. Almost everyone in a reality show hits the entertainment business for a little while. But then there's people like Russell Armstrong, who, who uh, he was a businessman. He, was a he business wasn't man. around it. His wife wanted to become... It was the a, same thing with the, yeah. in the Loud family. He was a businessman. That would basically, the business was, okay, well, folks, if you get an opportunity, go see, you know, the uh, about the Louds for Cinema the Cinema Verde. Cinema is it, Verde. Um, because it's guess what, MH. folks? It's talking about ups and downs in the real estate and duck business. Mm -hmm. The guy sold equipment for uh, for mining equipment that was used to make construction material, and with the bin, with the end, with the housing boom down, which was thirty some four years ago, it goes in cycles. Mm -hmm. The history there shows you this. What we're going through was going through back under the you know sixty years ago, forty years ago, fifty years ago. But you know, he he didn't know what was going on. But he didn't know that he didn't like the way it was going, and he said, well, let's, let's do it this way. But the instant he said, do it this way, it then becomes scripted. So the first show was actually scripted from the very, from the very first few days after it started, it then became a scripted event. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I just think, they said that, uh, okay, you really think that those people on, on American Idol would destroy people like they do? Oh. No, because I've actually met some of those people. They're absolutely, they bend their backs over to try to, to, to help people with advice. They're not mean-spirited, you know, but they're playing a role. Okay, hey, today you're going to cry today. Hey, you're going to be a 